Uh, new coming up at 12:30, breaking the chain of violence. That's the goal of a new program announced this morning in Louisville. It's designed to work with gunshot victims, their friends, and family. Our Erica Coghill is live for us now with all the details. Erica. Good afternoon to you, Karen. Last year was one of Louisville's most violent years in the city's recent history. So, leaders are hoping that this year they can change that and pivot the violence into a more positive direction through this new program called Pivot to Peace. Now, this morning, more than 100 people gathered at University of Louisville to help kick off the program. The program will target trauma patients between the ages of 18 and 34 who have gunshot or knife injuries from violence. And who live in one of the following West Louisville neighborhoods? That's Algonquin, California, Chickasaw, Park Duval, Park Hill, Parkland, Portland, Russell, and Shawnee. Local leaders say data shows that these neighborhoods are rattled with high unemployment, poverty, and crime. But it's important that we put resources where we need them, but it's also more important that we emphasize that the vast, 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 vast majority of citizens in these neighborhoods are good folks that are just trying to have a living and take care of their families and put food on the table. Their lives are being upset and our city is being upset by really just a small number of people. Now, the trauma center will transform into a place where patients and their families and friends can be connected with resources. They will be engaged by caseworkers who will pair them and help connect them with coping and prevention of retaliation resources, as well as promoting strategies to diffuse conflicts. Now, those caseworkers will continue to work with those patients up to a year after they're discharged, connecting them with educational and housing services. As well, and employment opportunities. Now, Pivot to Peace plans to start working with people by March 1st of this year. Reporting live, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News. All right, Erica, thank you. Uh, a little bit more here. The program is free. It was made possible through grants from the Gaines Foundation, Jewish Heritage Fund for Excellence, and the United States Office of Juvenile Justice and Department of Justice. 